Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of How to Get TikTok Famous in Prison. Now, I just became aware recently that prison TikTok was a thing. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I didn't think they were allowed to have phones in prisons. Well, you'd be right, but contraband is constantly being smuggled in and out of prison. Cell phones, I would imagine, is one of the most popular ones. Clearly here, you spend a little time on prison talk, and you discover that behind the wall, it's not very glamorous, but the TikToks are fire. So fire, in fact, that Vice News did an entire special on prisoners that are going viral on TikTok. Welcome to Prison TikTok. This is a state stove made out of a melted hot pot. So we make our hot water in the morning for our coffee. The lives of incarcerated people that were once hidden are now going viral thanks to the younger generation. Now, I used to really enjoy Vice's investigative journalism years ago, back when it was on HBO, before it got sold to the highest bidder and has turned into a bit of a steaming pile of dog shit. But this piece on prison talk wasn't bad. It was thoughtful in the sense that they talk about this idea of prisoners going viral on TikTok and how some of them have access to phones even though they're uh, contraband, and they talk about this new phenomenon that so many people, teenagers, kids with TikTok are able to see this behind the wall human side of these people that are incarcerated, uh, which is a lot different than probably everything we see on the movies and the TV shows. Due to prisons being hidden and removed from society, mass incarceration in the U.S. is vastly misunderstood. I don't know a whole lot about prisons myself outside of what I see on television and of course, Scared Straight. You see this motherfucking face? You remember this motherfucking face? But I do know that there's a lot of slimy motherfuckers in this country that stand to gain a lot of money by capitalizing on mass incarceration, specifically for-profit prisons. I know that there's people that deserve to be in jail, but there's probably plenty of people that don't. Talking about the humane or inhumane treatment of other humans that are locked up against their will. When you make that for-profit, there's, that is ripe for corruption and malfeasance and the mistreatment of human life. Cell phones are contraband in prisons. Lawmakers stress their potential danger to facilitate crimes. There have been some instances where contraband cell phones were used to threaten state senators, blackmail civilians for money, as well as extort other inmates' loved ones. Yet, they still have made their way past prison walls in the thousands. Don't get me wrong, there is people that will use it for bad, you know, like use it to make hits on the outside and stuff like that. But mostly it's just tatted up men that are trying to compete in the online fuckboy space. At first I said that I love you when you ain't say that shit back. It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match. Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached. Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back. Once I I'm sorry, um, Bryce Hall who? Never heard of him. King Savage 360 Strong is here changing the fucking game with a cigarette ducked behind his ear. Honestly, I haven't had that much blood flow to my loins since I found out Addison Ray's dad did the WAP dance. Oh yeah. Cell phone smuggling has been previously caught on camera, from being stuffed inside sports balls and thrown over fences to getting dropped by drones. But one way is by far the most common. The only way that cell phones really make their way into facilities in a mass movement or way is through staff. So it turns out it's prison staff that are responsible for most, if not all, of the contraband that gets smuggled in and out of prisons, whether it's, I mean, something as innocuous as letters to and from families, cell phones, all the way up to heroin, hard drugs, and other shit. And while it seems a bit ridiculous that some of these guys are willing to risk extra time or time in solitary maybe for getting caught with a cell phone, I'm just happy they're not being deprived of the embarrassment that comes along with making some dumb shit like King Savage 360 Strong just made when his prison buddies find out. And maybe even make some outside money to get by. J Money and other accounts list their cash apps in their bios. On the other hand, this is a solid move from these inmates. Not only are they getting a little bit of human connection and that adrenaline rush from interaction on your posts, they're posting their cash app in the bio of their TikTok and making some cheese at the same time. It's not easy being the disappointment of the family, but here the fuck I am. Gang, gang, bitch. Uh, congrats, I guess. Gang, gang, bitch. I mean, I can relate to being the disappointment in the family. I spent a hundred something thousand dollars on college, mostly debt. And then I told my parents immediately after I graduated that I wanted to be a musician. So you can imagine how that went over. That's real prison cooking right here. Iron the quesadilla, making a little homemade chalupa. When they expect you to drink this shit. I love this guy's name is Fuck the Feds. <laughs> You're not doing yourself any favors if you get caught. These peaches don't look that bad, honestly. Looks like some Kraft American singles, some Ronies. Photos my dad sent me while he was in jail. I feel like this. a couple people have done this. Like, this is a, a little mini trend on people who have family members that have been in jail. First of all, this dad 
It's like a badass. You think you can hurt my feelings? Lots of lettuce. I had time in a federal penitentiary. Like, can you, I, I get it, bro, but can you be any more of a hard -o than making this TikTok? I'm sorry, <laughs> definitely not. Actually, you know what? This guy might be onto something. There are so many pathetic pussies on the internet that are offended by every single thing that they're willingly reading on their social media feeds. If we could just put them all in federal penitentiary for like a couple of weeks, maybe they'd get out and be like, you know what? Twitter's not that bad a place after all. I can be on it without crying myself to sleep at night. I have a sneaking suspicion that after 12 months in federal prison, someone calling you fat online is probably not going to really affect you that badly. Now I know why I'm attracted to felons. Because the whole time I thought it was fell in love, but it's fell in love. <laughs> While I was going down the prison TikTok rabbit hole, I realized there's a whole nother part of TikTok uh, called like prison wives or family members of people that are in prison. Um, so some of those are sprinkled in here. Prison Gordon Ramsay TikToks are the move. Food TikToks are insane already. Huge amount of people love watching people make food on TikTok, any platform really. Well, you put a, you put a couple prison recipes on there, Um, that's my sense of humor. My mistake was thinking that everyone was going to understand my joke. <laughs> Bro, she got real for this dude. He posted, he posted on a prison TikTok that I'm going to, I'm going to snitch on you about the phone. And then someone found his real address and posted in the comments. Bro, you don't fuck around about snitching on prison TikTok, dude. Rule number one of prison talk, you don't talk about prison talk. A lot of you guys have been asking me if working in a prison is how it's portrayed in the TV shows. No. However, what does happen at an alarming rate is staff getting fired for trafficking. I was shook when I had been there for only two months and there had been four staff walked out, bringing in cell phones in the hoo-ha. A pussy cell phone. That's, a, that's an age-old technique. You just put that burner right up. You have wide enough hips, you could probably bring three or four in at a time. She was killing kids and burying them in her garden. There was a lady there that was in intake. She actually handed me my clothes because she works in intake as a prison worker. These ladies has been there for years. She microwaved her baby. Um, there was one in there that fed the baby there to her husband. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that that you said there? Uh. You see, this is the problem with prison is it's like this one size fits all solution for people that fuck up. So you got Donnie Whiskers that got picked up down by the pond because he was smoking a Jaybird. Sharing the same establishment is fucking Big Bessie who's microwaving babies and feeding them to her husband. Today we're making prison pizza. Oh, hell yeah. Jam? Tomato show me that, sauce, show me that pizza, Justin. Noodle, one sleeve of Ritz crackers. Who are you calling a cracker? Jesus. All this has to be crushed down to a fine dust and put in the bag. <sighs> Boom, crushing that ramen. I feel like this is a lot harder than making normal pizza, but without the resources to do it, you find ways around it. Add water until you get a dough consistency. Spread out dough on a chip bag. Place in the microwave for five minutes. Yes, baby, look at that pizza. It's magically delicious. I'm going to be 100% transparent with you guys. I would destroy that pizza. That looked so fucking delicious. A crust made out of crushed up ramen and rich crackers and fucking saltines. Are you kidding? Yeah, you're, pri you're prison famous. Prison famous. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no, what the fuck? That's the only reason people follow me, is because of you. Oh. It's the truth. That's awkward. No. Yeah. Nothing like exploiting your boyfriend's incarceration for a little bit of TikTok clout, right? Love it. That's a good question. Let me explain. This is what the cell window looked like. Very small, right? Well, these windows are sandblasted in order for inmates to not be able to see outside. So I used an old con trick in order to make a small window of visibility through the window so that I could see my mom drive by and flash her high beams. 
And this is how I did it. With oh, some Vaseline that's, that's from Health Services, Saran Wrap from a sandwich, and a hard card-like surface. This is like some Vsauce or Veritasium shit right here. Next, you're going to want to swipe left and right with the hard card until visibility starts to become clear through the Vaseline and the glass. And last but not least, enjoy the visibility of a slight free man. It's never as clear as you want it to be, but that's how it's done. Best advice, don't go to jail, and you can look out normal windows. Uh, first of all, why are you screaming? <laughs> Secondly... That was like some Mark Rober level engineering on that sanded window. Thirdly, it's good advice. Good advice. I'd rather look through regular windows. Things smuggled into a prison from the perspective of an ex-con. Let's go. Now, I've seen correctional officers on this app saying that COs would never smuggle things in. That's a lie. That's a myth. Y'all watch too much TV. COs don't do it. You guys, the number one way that drugs or any kind of contraband, like a cell phone, gets into prison is from the correctional officers. Prison has its own economy in COs that are willing to uh, forego part of their moral obligation will partake in that economy, clearly. Daddy. If you love someone, you love someone, you just don't leave them because they're incarcerated. I can bet my life on it. Her most popular TikToks are the phone calls with her fiance. I mean, it makes sense why these TikToks do well. I think there's something inherently interesting about life behind bars because most people um, don't know what that's like and, you know, never will experience that. So when you offer people an authentic peek behind the curtain, whether that's because you're able to have a cell phone in jail, or you maybe are married to someone who's incarcerated, people are gonna eat that shit up on TikTok or other social medias for sure. The reality is that there's a really simple solution to contraband cell phones. And that's making phones within prison facilities, calls within prison facilities free. All right, slow down. All right, well, I agree that maybe inmates should be able to get in touch with their families and loved ones without being uh, exploited by these telecommunication industries. Don't for a second think that if you made landline phone calls in prison free, they wouldn't still be bringing in cell phones to do the savage on TikTok for their adoring fans at home. Come on. You know, it is easy after years of television and Hollywood movies to think that everyone that's in prison is some sort of barbarian. And if it takes TikTok to remind us that there's a lot of people behind those bars that are just like you and me, decent people that made a mistake, and they're looking to live their best life, then I say let them have their phones. Not the people microwaving babies. They don't fuck, they do not get phones, okay? They get slapped in the teeth every single day until they die in prison. But the other people that are actually decent people, yeah, you know what, let them make a fucking, ah, let them catch a woe, let them fucking do the dance, let them sh do some Gordon Ramsay shit with their ramen pizza. Why not? So that was a little peek into prison talk. I do appreciate you joining me for this one. If you could do me a favor, before you go, just take some ramen, some rich crackers, and some saltines to crush that shit up and roll it up into a chip bag, add a little hot water, let it uh, materialize into a dough-like substance, take it out, knead it a little bit like it's actual pizza dough, stretch it, and then slap the underside of your ball bag with it, then turn it into a pizza, cook it in the microwave on high for five minutes, and once you take it out, you finish that motherfucking pizza, pull down your pants, and you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me right below this video. I appreciate you guys. Twitch.tv slash Leon Lush if you want to catch me stream Mondays and Thursdays. Shop.leonlush.com for some merch. Otherwise, thanks for being here. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.